Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to talk about Lucid trading under the ticker symbol LCID. It has been one of the most speculated stocks in the Nasdaq. Some have said that it could be the next Tesla, while others believe that it's just going to be a giant bubble about to burst. Lucid is one of the few companies that has an actual product rolled out. And as time went on, the stock price action, along with investors' hope, went through a lot of roller coasters, and some are still wondering if this is a bandwagon that they want to hop on. In this video, we're going to look at Lucid and to see if the stock still deserves to have a place in our portfolio. If you appreciate my content, please consider to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, please check out the links down in the description section as every help is greatly appreciated. Over the past five days, Lucid recovered above $8 and since then seemed to have stayed there, which is excellent news given the company's shares have been going down in value over the past few weeks, as slow as $6. It's worth mentioning that the current stock price is likely a reflection of the market-wide recovery. Currently, I believe that the upward momentum for Lucid is still intact and that the price could reach higher levels still. In the medium and long-term considerations, things still rely on the upcoming operations and investments, especially regarding the production volumes and sales volumes in 2023, which could encounter some challenges due to the looming recessions. What is your take on the company's short-term perspectives? Do you intend to increase or decrease your position over the next few days and weeks? Please let me know down in the comments. Lucid is an EV manufacturer that is poised to shake up the industry with the cutting-edge technology and designs. While other EV companies have been making strides in the industry, Lucid Motors stands out with its advanced battery technology, aerodynamic designs, and commitment for sustainable business model. So, in addition to the advanced technology and design, Lucid is also committed to sustainable business model by using the renewable energy sources to power the production facilities and wants to reduce its environmental impact throughout the life cycle of their vehicles. This commitment is what separates the company from other competitors, in my opinion. Another factor that makes Lucid Motors standing out is the focus on luxury segment. The company's first vehicle, Lucid Air, is a vehicle that is spacious and comfortable, coming with advanced drivers, assistance systems, and many other luxury features. When we look at the long-term tendencies of Lucid price action, it's not hard to see that the bubble that gave so much hope to traders around the world is now bursted. The market is no longer willing to blindly follow the latest hype, because on one hand, the market doesn't want to persist on believing that a beautifully made PowerPoint is better than a good financial report. On the other hand, it cannot afford to sustain the trend when supply chain issues, doubt over flagship companies within the sector, conflicts around the world, higher interest rates, and a looming recession have already been plaguing the real economy out there and also the narrative. The market has long predicted that there will be a bearish market after such a prolonged bull market and that most stakeholders believe that it's going to be a rough patch for the next couple of years. The market peaked twice in the past, and if the first peak was caused by pure hype, the second one was triggered by the rollout of actual products. Lucid remains a company that has investment value in the years to come. The main question in everyone's mind is when should they enter in the stock? The long grind to lower price levels is likely caused by the market trends, rather than the company fundamentals. So in that sense, things are not as alarming as they may seem. On the other hand, we should remember that sometimes, even if those grinds don't have an actual fundamental reasons, they may still last for a very long time and bring the price to very low levels. Hylions and Paysafe are excellent examples in that case. Lucid had a strong financial performance in 2022. The company reported revenues of about $200 million in Q3 of 2022, a significant increase from just $232,000 of revenue in Q3 of 2021. This strong revenue growth was driven by the launch of Lucid Air, 
the company's first vehicle, which began deliveries in late 2021. The Lucid Air is a luxury electric vehicle that has been well received by consumers and that has helped establishing the company's reputation as a major player in the sector. Currently, they still have a negative net income, mostly caused by the fixed costs and other operating expenses that should be absorbed once the volume starts to pick up. Overall, Lucid's financial figures paint the picture of a company that is growing its operations but lacks a little bit in discipline and cost control, needing to scale up the operations to start having positive cash flows. Now, let's also cover the shareholder composition in Lucid, because this is a very important factor to determine if the company is better for trading or investing. Lucid is currently held by the institutional buyers, for the most part, at more than 70% of the total float. This suggests that the price volatility of Lucid will be lower than other growth stocks, mostly owned by retails. The reason why this might be the case is because institutional shareholders have far more diversified portfolio and can afford to wait, so they don't mind the short-term volatilities. They also tend to stay in for a longer period of time, which is also a good sign for those of us who want to stay for the long run. Some key behavioral differences between institutional and retail shareholders include their investment horizon and also their level of involvement in the corporate governance. In other words, institutional shareholders tend to behave as if they own the company for real, that they are the ones deciding what is going to be the company's decisions, whereas the retailers tend to just behave as speculators. We come in and we aim to make more money than when we first entered in the stock, and this is the end of it. They don't see necessarily like the potentials of the money that there is to make 5 to 10 years from now. Whereas people managing other people's money can sometimes have this kind of opportunity to wait. The short interest of Lucid has been increasing in recent weeks, meaning an increasing number of investors are wondering whether it's a good time to sell the stock. Short sellers borrow the shares from brokers and then they dump it in the market, hoping to buy them back later at a lower price and making the profit from the difference. In the case of Lucid, there is a significant amount of short selling, but in my opinion, it's not sufficiently significant to say that there is a concerted short operation going on against Lucid. So I would say that this has to be put as a secondary reason at most. It's important to note that the short interest may not guarantee a short squeeze, but nevertheless, it's a metric worth monitoring. It's also worth mentioning that people shorting the stock often have a good reason doing so and that a short squeeze may not happen regardless of how many stars are being aligned. Given the current analysis, I would recommend to buy Lucid shares now and to hold it for the next 12 months. Given that my recommended approach for Lucid is the medium and long-term investment, the short-term volatilities would matter very little, except for the optimal entry point, but shouldn't incur losses as well as the overall outlook for the company. I don't believe that Lucid's outlook is going to change over the next five years, or at least this has to be my assumption if I decide to go in. If that's not the case, it's better to look elsewhere as well. I would recommend to keep the exposure between 3-5% to of the portfolio.